everyone. So this is what we're doing today. My husband worked really hard on this blanket chest. Okay, so we finally brought it in. And once we put it against the wall, I will show you. I'm going to organize this room too. But uh, it was kind of heavy lifting and not too bad. We both did it together. But it's really neat. This is the inside. I do have to take the vacuum with the holes and go through it. But I love this piece of furniture. When I was a little girl, I never had anything old like this. You know, I thank God for everything my parents gave me. But we didn't have anything old. Like, my parents didn't buy anything vintage. Everything we had was new or they bought it new or was passed down from the family. But as far as, like, getting us, like, a chest like this, a blanket chest, I didn't even know what a blanket chest was until um, I got older. But this is just really amazing. It has a little key um, place here. What do they put on here, honey? Do well, it had a, 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 a um, if I say it correctly, excursion. It had a little, I know it's a little brass cover, and then they had a key, and this was a lock. Now, it did have a little uh, latch up here, which is missing. Now, you're going to have to remember, this thing went through a lot of... Uh, seasons from yes. 1820 to now it has some old repairs on it here uh, and uh so it's not perfect but it's seen a lot of uh use over the years and uh this actually used to be a red color it actually had like a red like stain on it so but somebody painted this before they painted it like a white and when i sanded it all down it took a lot of the old white paint off you could see the original red underneath it. So, but because it had so many, uh, you know, since it had so many coats of the white over the original red, uh, I could not get all the old coatings off. So that's why we determined and decided to go to a color of our own choice, which is, <clears throat> excuse me, and this is actually a chalk paint, which is one of the uh, styles of paint that they would have painted it back then. So this and is a, just, a yeah. latex. This is a chalk paint. He's actually going to put another one of these brass right, right here when he finds one because it has to be the one with the two knobs on it. So that's going to be placed right there. Right. And these hinges here are newer hinges. The original hinges would be like um, the the eyelets with the, you know how you have the little eyelet screw hinges and it has a latch. That's what these had. So it had a, like a little eyelet, it screwed in here, and then a little latch here, and it would hook onto that. And that's how these hinges were actually uh, on this chest. There was one here, one here, and one over there. Yes, yeah, so it's it's just really beautiful. I love this piece of furniture, God willing, because you know, we know nothing lasts. God gives, God takes away. I always say that. But while I can have this, this will be one of those pieces of furniture that I will never give to anyone, that I would just keep and maybe pass it on. But this is just really beautiful, and I really appreciate my husband for going on ahead and, and doing and priming this and painting it. He did a wonderful job, like always, and I just really love it. Thank let's you, dear. Show, uh, let's show them one more thing that's interesting sure. about this chest on the side here. Okay. Now, I'm not sure if that'll come out, but you see the-, the Excuse head. the mess right there. I'm yeah, cleaning, I had to move things. <laughs> you see the style of this? How it's cut. I'm pretty sure, uh, if I'm not wrong, this is actually a shaker chest. The style of this design here. So uh, the shaker chest actually is a much more desirable chest. And then if you look at the back here, this is another way you can tell that's a really old chest too. Is the back of the lumber? They're usually cut in real large pieces, and you can see how it's rough cut. Nowadays, it's uh, just a real thin plywood. But this here is about half an inch thick, and it's all just rough yes. cut lumber. I love it. I love anything like this. It's just so nice to have a piece of somebody's history in my home. I'm sure there's a lot of stories, a lot of blankets that went with this chest. And um, just really beautiful. So I'll be back after I set everything up. I'll show you this big blanket here. too big to put in here, so that didn't go in there. But I have these in here, which I'm so happy because it relieved space and relieved up some space in the closet. And I have some quilts in here. So I'm pretty excited about that. And I've got that red one. So um, I don't know. I'm just so happy. I just really love the way this came out. And I feel good about it. And it's something that I wanted for a long time. And finally got one. And this is the oldest piece of furniture I own. So that's amazing. And then here 
I'm going to put all these pieces of material and stuff they're going to go in my drawer. So that's going to relieve up some more space. So woohoo. Hi Elijah to everybody. Hi. <laughs>
Now this part right here was sticking all the way out and I hammered it in and I fixed it myself with my tools. And these are the stickers that I got at the Dollar Tree. So I put these decals here and I had the butterflies for a long time. I just added the decals and I love the way it came out. I think it came out so cute. So adorable. Hi. <laughs> So I really enjoy this blanket chest. You know, there's that one piece of furniture you probably have in your home, heirloom, something passed down from your family, something you brought that's very special to you. And this is very special to me. Yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy it. Enjoy it. And you know, it just makes my craft room so cozy and so enjoyable. Such a beautiful piece of furniture, such a great history, you know, behind this piece of furniture, the people that owned it. What was their story, you know? Maybe they put a blanket in here or a quilt that comforts someone through a time of sorrow, through a time of sickness. We just don't know. But these pieces of furniture are just great, especially from the 1820s. That really, really, really hits home. So God bless everyone. I hope you have a great day and that you enjoy this video today. And I'll talk to everyone soon. Bye.